Alright, I've shown in prior videos just how powerful dynamic spending can be for the health of a retiree's portfolio. If you're new to the idea of dynamic spending, then I would recommend these readings right here. Perhaps you want to pause the video. And especially I recommend this Vanguard publication. Let's now go through a quick example of dynamic spending. Now to be clear, in the first year of retirement, there's no dynamic spending to do. Instead, the retiree just reflects on what their most comfortable withdrawal rate is. Uh, for some people, that's 4%. For others, it's more conservative or more liberal. In this example, we have a retiree who is retiring very conveniently with a portfolio of $1 million, and they're comfortable with a 4% withdrawal rate, as you see right here. And so in the first year, again, there's no dynamic spending in the first year, they're simply going to remove $40,000, withdraw $40,000 from their million dollar portfolio. And so in the first year, they're living by that rule um, that they've established for themselves of a 4% withdrawal rate. Now dynamic spending really comes into play in year two and all subsequent years of retirement. In this example, the retiree had a little bit of bad luck and their portfolio value is down uh, relative to last year. They now have just $980,000 in their portfolio. Now 4% of $980,000 is $39,200. So they're going to have to take a spending cut if they uh, take a 4% withdrawal in year two of retirement. But do they have to? Well, if we look at the rules that they've committed themselves to because they're committed to the dynamic spending rule, um, they're living by a decrease floor of 2.5%. That percentage comes out of the Vanguard publication that I showed earlier. By the way, they also have an increased ceiling of 5%. Okay, so in any given year, they are not allowing themselves to increase their spending by 5% more than last year's withdrawal or decrease their spending by less than 2.5% of last year's withdrawal. So this year, they've calculated 4% of 980,000 and that's 39,200. They compare that number, 39,200, to the decrease floor of 39,000 and they decide that they can indeed withdraw $39,200 and live on $39,200 this year. Had the drop been much greater, like let's say the portfolio value was only $900,000, then that decrease floor would really come into play because they would wonder, do I really have to cut my spending all the way down to 4% of my substantially diminished portfolio? They could check that against the decrease floor and perhaps uh, the decrease floor would be a little bit more comfortable than the 4% value. But in this case, uh, they do not have to uh, go all the way down to $39,000 for annual spending because 4% of the portfolio value is actually a smidgen higher, $39,200. Now, dynamic spending also applies when the portfolio's value is up. So now let's look at an example in which the retiree has had great luck in year two. And in fact, even though they uh, withdrew uh, their annual spending for last year, um, the portfolio has grown so much that at the beginning of year two, they have $1,100,000. Well, of course, 4% of $1,100,000 is $44,000. Should they spend that amount? Well, they've committed to the dynamic spending rule, and as part of that, they have committed to an increased ceiling of 5%. Again, 5% is uh, just a number that is used in examples in the Vanguard publication. And when you compare these two numbers, you see that the increased ceiling is $42,000. That's 5% more than what they withdrew for last year's spending, which was $40,000. So comparing these two numbers, we see that they really, um, if they're going to live by the dynamic spending rule and, and use a 5% increase ceiling, 
they really should only increase their spending uh, to $42,000 under this scenario because 4% of this portfolio value is just um, outside of the acceptable range uh, according to the dynamic spending rule. So they're going to spend in year two under this scenario, they're going to spend $42,000 rather than $44,000. I hope this example was helpful to you.